20 years of disaster safety, preparedness, strong homes, resilience. 20 years of the Flash Partnership. More than two decades ago, a small group of individuals and organizations worked together to build the foundations of a movement. A movement built on the devastation of Hurricane Andrew. A revolution that would bring the messages of disaster preparedness and resiliency to the nation. FLASH, then known as the Florida Alliance for Safe Homes, was born in 1998. The notion of breaking the cycle of build, destroy, and rebuild the same way is really the essence of why FLASH was created in 1998. Someone had to take the lead on pointing out that we have to build it differently. And the FLASH movement is really about resiliency, building better homes, building smarter homes, and uh, there are people from all different disciplines, from the building industry, from the insurance industry, the forecasters, emergency managers, there are a lot of people who understand that and are doing everything they can to uh, encourage people to build better. And you know, if we do that, uh, it's going to benefit everybody in the long run. Flash, along with its founding and legacy partners, joined together to find creative ways to not only educate consumers about mitigation, but to create a demand for a strong built environment. In 2002, a partnership with FEMA produced the award-winning Blueprint for Safety Curriculum, a comprehensive set of disaster-resistant building techniques. Flash and the National Weather Service joined forces in 2003 to create the Turn Around, Don't Drown campaign. It was a nationwide campaign with uh, tremendous results that we believe saved many lives already across the country and continues to do so to today. In 2004, four hurricanes ripped through Florida and homeowners Jim and Teresa were just one of thousands who found themselves without a home. Thanks to television home improvement guru Bob Vila and legacy partners State Farm and Simpson Strong Tie, Flash produced the first Tale of Two Homes video. We know our children depend on us to keep them safe. And now that we have a plan, our family is better protected. In 2006, Flash designed the My Safe Florida Home program, an unprecedented initiative that offered Florida homeowners free inspections to learn how they could strengthen their homes with inspections and retrofitting grants. A whole new cadre of professionals were created thanks to the, uh, the work of FLASH to do the assessments of, on the homes. And without that, we would have had a much slower process. In 2007, FLASH hit the ground to capture a new tale of two homes, wildfire. This time, the Witch Creek fires in Southern California set the stage demonstrating the positive impact of disaster preparedness. Fire just has to go out if it can't find anything to burn. So all that stuff you did uh, paid off. Stormstruck, a tale of two homes, a convergence of the Flash mission and the dedication of the Flash partners brought the idea of strengthening homes to more than 5.8 million visitors at Epcot and made mitigation Fun. Most importantly, we want them to be empowered. That's really what we're trying to do with our guests. Have knowledge of what their house can do. A performance In 2010, Flash, along with partners BASF, Kohler, and State Farm, launched the Great Hurricane Blowout, a first of its kind hurricane preparedness campaign designed to help families prepare in advance for hurricane season. The following year, Flash continued those efforts with the Protect Your Home in a Flash video series. What would you rather have hit your windows in a high wind? This or this? I thought so. A good one day project is to replace all this rock gravel with some natural or synthetic mulch. Next, Flash found the Harrison family after a tornado destroyed their home and a safe room saved their lives. Together, they shared the story driving home the message, you can protect your family, even in the most devastating high wind storms. It was a home built job here, but it was, it was time well spent and money well spent. And the new one we have now, 
you know, it's something worth investing in because it can shave your life, it gives you peace of mind. In 2012, Flash continued the Go Tapeless campaign, busting the number one hurricane preparedness myth. This came out of the National Hurricane Conference, which is underway right now in Orlando. They say taping the windows leads to a false sense of security. Next, Flash and a long list of partners worked together to launch the Texas State Collaborative, giving local leaders the information needed to support effective enforcement of state and local building codes. You want to know how Harris County stacks up? It's in here, along with many others. In 2013, Flash helped take resilience to a global audience through an address at the United Nations during World Habitat Day. Flash named the Weather Channel's Jim Cantori as the first ever National Weather Person of the Year, a tradition that continues to this day with notables in the field of weather, science, and forecasting sharing the honor. This event and this award started a few years ago. 2014, I was honored and, and very, very touched to be the first recipient of that. In 2015, Flash got into the app game with Last House Standing. The mobile game is a fun way to address a serious issue, the lack of knowledge regarding where to begin when making sure homes are built to be disaster safe. In 2016, Flash convened the National Earthquake Conference, bringing together more than 375 experts, making international news and inspiring $10 million of additional research funding for the Earthquake Early Warning Project. Next, Flash and leadership partner Dr. Rick Nabb created the National Hurricane Resilience Initiative, Hurricane Strong. The campaign kicked off with a White House proclamation, public events, national outreach, and trending social media conversations, including more than 55,000 tweets and a call to action. We all must prepare in advance every year. Also in 2016, Flash and FEMA delivered ready business workshops focused on earthquake, flood, hurricane, power outage, and severe wind to more than 2,400 businesses and organizations from Anchorage to San Juan. Throughout 2017, Flash hosted educational programs for leaders across the country, leaders seeking to advance disaster resilience by fostering an environment with strong, well-built residential homes as the foundation for community resilience. Over the years, we've seen that building codes are crucial in uh, uh, the development of uh, structures and the safety of our, our citizens. At the 2018 National Hurricane Conference, Flash and FEMA named Leon County as the first ever hurricane strong community. Since then, Miami-Dade County, Florida and Chatham County, Georgia have received the designation. The program promises to be just the beginning, a way to ensure families and communities across the U.S benefit when leaders foster strong partnerships, enforce necessary building codes, and have solid disaster preparedness plans. After 20 years, the Flash partnership has emerged as one of the nation's most trusted voices on disaster resilience science, policy, and practice, making the case for modern model building codes, as well as beyond code mitigation practices. Michael was the third most powerful hurricane ever to make landfall on the United States mainland. Hurricane Florence slammed into this state making landfall today. And Sometimes we get frustrated when we see that we're still suffering losses and people are still suffering in disasters, but we have to look back and understand that we've made a lot of progress, not just in how we build, but how we survive storms but I think the bar has been raised. We have seen recently that the storms are coming possibly even more frequently and we're still suffering losses that are avoidable. So we have more work to do. 20 years of progress, 20 years of innovation, dedication and commitment. You can help us create a world where people value, demand and build resilient communities. Please join us today.